Hey guys, Lance Lambert here, coming to you from Barcelona, Spain for Spanibus 2019. All of a sudden it's getting really smoky around here and it could be because, I think it's literally almost 420, but also because we've got the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, we've got Ed Rosenthal here with us. How you doing, Ed? I'm doing fine. Nice. So beyond being a, a good friend and, and a fellow in the industry, I want to get Ed on camera and just get his take on Spain. So tell me, this isn't your first rodeo. You've been here before. Yes. Yeah. What have you seen? I think we've talked. You like Barcelona. I think yes. it's a nice city yes. and all. Yes. How much have you seen this place change in the last several years? Well, it's grown tremendously and it's much more sophisticated than it was just a few years ago. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, very similar to being to some uh, American shows yeah. th that are uh, grower oriented. And what do you think? I mean, this is, you mentioned like a, a U.S. shows, even Canadian shows, but U.S. shows more so where it's either business to business or consumer, but here, especially in Europe, it seems they overlap the two, right? I mean, it's just a common thing that you see. Well, well I think that the American industry is more segmented right now. Yeah. And uh, uh, but I think that there is a, um, that in America right now the grower is uh, has been left behind sort of. Yeah. At the shows, and I think that that will change. Yeah. Because there is a growing demand for cannabis. Very true, very true. So what is your take? You know how things are here more than anyone. Social clubs versus coffee shops in the Netherlands versus us only having dispensaries in the US and Canada. What's your take on the social club? Do you think that's a, a good model for mainstream, per se? I, I, I think that coffee, that uh, social clubs or coffee shops are good, both good models. and. Uh, we have that in California. Yeah. Uh, we have lounges where people can use it. Nice. Yeah. So that's happening. Yeah, right. Because I mean, that's the thing I think about, and it's domestic and international. How many pubs and clubs that you pass where alcohol is, is obviously the, the open option for consumption, but for those that rather consume cannabis, not alcohol, it's just tough, right? I mean, it's just so many places where there isn't a communal opportunity or social opportunity. It, it's it's uh, really difficult to have a pub type scene, or it has been, before the uh, cannabis clubs yeah. started opening. And I think that, that uh, that's a, a really a healthy, uh, a really healthy uh, phenomenon. And the reason yeah. why I say, use the term healthy is because I don't think that drinking a lot or social drinking uh, which often leads to overindulgence is really good for people. Yeah. I'm not saying it should be outlawed or corrupt oh, no. or anything, but people should at least be given a choice. Yeah. And that's what's happening. Yeah, I agree with that too. So what else? What do you think is the the future of cannabis on a global scale? I think a good question to ask being that we're in kind of the epicenter of Europe right now, right? Well I think that it's happening all over, and uh, in, both in South America, Central America, yeah. Canada, and then over in uh, here in Europe. And uh, you know, each country has its own laws. Yeah. And then uh, also in Malaysia, they just came out and said uh, they were going to uh, to execute a person who was giving. Uh, kids, THC and CBD for epilepsy, and there were such protests that they're changing the laws there. Wow. And that's something you not did. expect in Malaysia, because they're up there with Singapore on capital punishment and crime. Right, for, right. but they, uh, they decided, wait, like, maybe he doesn't have victims. Well, that's a good segue. You know, something that happened is, uh, I'd, I'd say a gift over the holidays we weren't expecting. But for Thailand and South Korea, 
to announce that they're going to move forward to medical. I mean, is that something that you imagined in your lifetime? I don't, I don't even know if I imagine Asia coming around to cannabis, even though that's a better part of where this all began, I guess you could say. But what's your take on that? Well, certainly the ruling classes didn't appreciate it. Yeah. But I think that this medical thing has got its grips on people because marijuana is a medicine and it can help people. And who would want to keep people from their medicine? Yeah. Makes sense. Perfect. Well, I, as always, appreciate it, Ed. As a friend and a colleague in the industry, you know, you really are, in, in my eyes, you are a true legend. You bring so much. You, you have so much history. And it's so utterly important for that to be continued and carried through into the future. So I thank you for your time. Definitely appreciate it. Enjoy your stay at Spanibus. My pleasure.